Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. And we are here with Oberon who's in his den right now. And uh, he's going to be heading out and uh, probably off to visit Mountain Domain again because he's been working hard to make sure that he's uh, um, that he's able to, to visit Robin when he can. He also actually, you know what, let's check. We have a blue jay here and uh, let's check on what we may need to uh, work on the, the pillar at the Sacred Temple because Oberon has been working hard to try and bring back the Forest Guardian, especially now that uh, he's realizing he's uh, possibly in a kind of dangerous situation, what with the idea of uh, his, he's affiliated, he's associating with, um, he's associating with the Mountain Domain, but he's from Mystic Colony and they don't really get along. So he's hoping the Forest Guardian may be able to solve his problem, but of course, she's not here. So we have to try and bring her back. He's been working very, very hard lately to try and find what he needs to bring her home. And uh, hopefully, I think a Blue Jay is one of them, so we'll see. I believe this Blue Jay was a gift. I don't think we actually caught it. I think we, it was given to us. I believe it was... I believe it was from Robin, actually. I'm not positive, though. So let's see, I feel like he come dashing in and kind of just fly by Coco there <laughs> and be very excited. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and use this and we'll put this here. And then do we have, we don't have any of the other birds. Uh, we need some of the others there. We'll probably have to try and get some of them at the festival maybe. And we do need winter blueberries while we're in luck because we have a lot of those. We also need some of these berries. There we go. And I don't think we have licorice. No, we don't. And any uh, anything over here that we might have? Um, unfortunately, no. We don't have any of these. And we don't have any of these, I don't think. And uh, at some point here, he will have to brave Savannah. I think he remembers seeing that she's had conch shells in her shop. And uh, at some point, he's going to have to brave uh, going back to see if uh, maybe maybe she's not upset. Uh, now, I don't think Savannah really has been upset, um, but Oberon sure has felt that she is. Uh, he's been a little uncomfortable around her ever since he uh, tried to give her a rose, and she turned him down. He's had the rose sitting in his den for quite a while now, and... Um, has been feeling a little bit awkward about the whole thing. He hasn't really talked to her much since, and I feel like he would head up this way and see what he if he can uh, chat with the cats in Mountain Domain and specifically visit Robin. Uh, they have definitely have had a very strong friendship growing, him and Robin, and a lot of you guys are speculating on the idea that maybe it would uh, maybe become something a little bit more. Uh, you, you never know. I don't think he's really, especially after such a big um, such a big disappointment with Savannah. I think he'd be really, really scared to consider giving anyone, even Robin, a rose. But uh, it, it maybe maybe it's something that would someday come to mind. Right now, he's pretty focused on the Forest Guardian though, and uh, less on trying to. Um, Less on trying to to um, or less on trying to uh, find, potentially find a mate. He's more focused on trying to bring the forest guardian home, but uh, he still does make sure to visit his friend uh, pretty much daily. I think we have gone up here daily, and I think we should try and get a warp to the sacred temple because I think that would help. Let's chat with Jag. Mm, it's just Oberon. We can join the Mountain Domain. I don't think we want to do that just yet, but a lot of you guys are wondering if maybe he will. Let's go ahead and talk. It's my job to protect our Domain's town. I usually have to keep cats from your colony away from this area. Well, I mean, they do fight quite a lot, um, but Oberon's not your typical mystic colony cat. Uh, let's visit with Robin and see what she has to say. What can I do for you, Oberon? Think you can use a turtle shell? I happen to have an extra and thought of you when I saw- Oh, thank you, Robin! Go ahead and take it! I'm not sure he knows what to do with this, but uh, he, he definitely will keep it on hand. And I think he would kind of uh, bring a rabbit to Leo. Leo was a little bit suspicious of him last time. And I think Oberon is kind of trying to, to bring him an offering of sort of, I come in peace! Uh, so let's give him the rabbit. And let's chat with him. The Mountain Domain has many challenges. I don't expect you to understand, Oberon. Does your colony know of your visit to the Mountain Domain, Oberon? We're watching you to make sure you aren't here to spy on us. Leo is still fairly, uh, fairly suspicious of him, and I, I feel like Oberon would be a little uncomfortable with that. Let's chat with Delta. Hey, Oberon, how's my partner in crime doing today? 
some days I wish there weren't any colonies at all, then we could all just be friends. Uh, I feel he would, especially after getting that from Leo, I feel he would wholeheartedly agree. And, uh, oh, and we're up to five stars now, and let's, uh, let's visit the shop real fast and just see what she has in stock, because I don't always remember what she has. She does sell lavender, we were wondering about that in our other series, and she sells licorice roots! Okay, I think he'd remember that he needs some of those, and although we can tend to find them outside, we definitely can come to Delta if potentially we need that so let's see and then there's there's a lot of cool ones there's a blue tabby that's kind of neat and then um i think for now i don't think there's really the crow could be something we might need at some point but i don't think we really need that right now i think pebble may have liked these let's go ahead and give a brown hawker oh thanks that looks neat what are you up to today you know Auburn, you're pretty cool rumor around the mountain domain is that you're a good hunter well, hopefully. I think he's getting to be a better hunter, and uh, he's becoming less of a fighter. He's less- he, he used to be a fairly confrontational cat who was uh, always- always picking fights and always getting into trouble, but lately he hasn't quite wanted to as much. He's been a little bit more- a little more gentle, a little more friendly, and uh, a little bit more- a, li a little bit less quick to leap into a fight. So, let's see if we can catch the squirrel. Unfortunately, no. Um... I feel like he, he might be a little bit uh, less confident in that compliment now, but uh, he, he'll continue to hunt. We're going to see if he can find any crows around here, uh, or potentially even doves. And he may pretty soon here have to try and go back and talk to Savannah and see if she has a... If, if, how she's feeling towards him and if she'd be willing to give him a conch shell, because he really, really needs one. Um... I honestly don't think Savannah is as upset as Oberon feels she is. <laughs> I think she was more startled and uh, she doesn't really have any interest in, in, in romance. And Oberon just didn't know that and I don't think she really holds it against him. I think uh, she she's always seen him as kind of a younger brother. Uh, not really realizing that maybe he didn't see her quite the same way. Not quite. He didn't quite necessarily see her as a sister. He maybe had a a slightly slightly different sort of affection for her and uh, she didn't realize that I, I think she was just a little bit startled when she turned him down and didn't really know what to say um, but he he has taken it pretty hard and has uh, been very uh, very very jumpy and cautious as of late and a little bit unsure of potentially uh, how she he's been a little unsure around her and how she feels of him so, uh, he, he's kind of been avoiding her. I think we're gonna head back down and, uh, see how things are, are going down here. If we- once we get up to, a uh, 100 experience, it might be worth it to buy the Den Warp, because he's been, uh, spending a lot of time out and about roaming around, and so it takes forever to walk back and forth each day. And I think he might enjoy having the Den Warp. I think he would use it quite a bit. So we may work on that at some point here, but we just have a- Gotta keep, gotta keep going uh, by foot for now. So we're gonna head back down. It is quite the journey, and uh, he's got to be pretty careful because, like Leo said, we don't really know what uh, what his colony may think of this. And uh, if I had to guess, I imagine they might not be so pleased. Um, Mystic and Mountain have been pretty clear rivals, and um, I don't know. I I don't really think. That, that Oberon took that into account when he started visiting up there. He just originally just went because he wanted to, to visit the shops, but then he started forming friendship, and now he's not really sure where he belongs. Uh, he's torn between both sides. Oh boy, this is forest, uh, this is the forest colony. I feel like he might be a little bit, um, a little, he might feel a little obligated to try and uh, defend his colony and maybe show them that, hey, uh, I, I really am on your side, um, and he might be a little bit, um, he might be, he might be a little bit, uh, determined to, to kind of prove himself to his colony, because this is the forest colony, too, he's not torn between, he, he's not really, he hasn't really been, um, overly involved with, uh, he hasn't even ever really visited them, so he still doesn't know much about them, and I feel like he wouldn't necessarily want to fight. He, he still doesn't really want the war to continue, but I feel like he, he'd jump at the chance to, to kind of prove his loyalty and be like, 
hey, I am loyal to this because now he's wondering what they might think. I mean, surely they've caught the the scent of the um, surely they've caught the scent of the mountain domain on his coat, and uh, now he's a little bit concerned as to what uh, what they might be thinking of his uh, comings and goings. So we'll we'll head over this way and let's grab some more snake lily. We tend to keep it and. Uh, Actually, the interesting thing is Savannah really likes them, and so um, he might try and bring that to her in the morning. I think it kind of depends how uh, how things are going. Let's let's see uh, let's see how things are doing the next day, and uh, we'll kind of visit with Savannah and see what she's up to. Possibly, uh, he hasn't really talked to her that much since uh, since the incident. So let's go ahead and we'll sleep through the night. And I think he would put the. Um, the turtle shell someplace safe. I don't think he really knows what to do with it, but you know what? It's special because it came from Robin, so he's gonna keep it. And I think he would bring it, uh, bring it up here, and kind of a uh, perhaps gather his courage and come creeping out with a snake lily, because that's always been kind of a something that that has been particular to him in, in Savannah because uh, he did use it against cats at one point and she kind of convinced him not to but she also does collect them she has a turtle shell too that's interesting but i feel like you kind of creep up to her with it and she's still pretty happy to see him howdy abron it's been a while how have things been i feel like he would quickly uh, quickly give that to her and uh, we are up to five stars again which is which is good uh but let's go ahead and chat i feel like he'd be very very cautious and uh, let's talk Hi, Oberon. You know, I always like chatting with you, right? Oh, I feel like that was kind of them, uh, them making up a little bit and uh, her saying, hey, really, it's all right. <laughs> and kind of reassuring him. Oh, my goodness. And so it's interesting. She actually recognized that uh, it's been a while since he, he's visited her. And uh, I feel I feel like he would be a little bit more comfortable now with all that. She sells the fireflies, too. Green fireflies. Wow. And it's 125 for conch, so that's something that we uh, might need to save up for. And I think, let's see, yeah, I think, um, I think we're probably going to uh, to save up for that. I feel like he'd feel a lot, uh, a lot happier now and a lot more reassured knowing that she hasn't held it against him. But that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that he's still very very torn and actually let's um let's maybe sell some things because i think uh we need to earn some more muse here if we can and um i think uh we we want to let's go ahead and sell uh, i think we want to make sure we're earning some muse how much is a squirrel a squirrel is three a rabbit is four i think we'll sell some of these rabbits how much is a gray squirrel uh still only three and then a frog is only two and how much is the snake lily? That's worth quite a lot. I think he would uh I think he would actually sell the snake lily because he knows he needs to earn more in order to be able to get that conch. And so I feel like he would uh he would make sure he goes and um and gathers up his stash here because he has quite a lot of it and uh, that could be quite valuable actually uh, if he manages to sell it off. So let's come down here and we'll sell that and maybe we'll have enough for the conch. We will have to see. So let's go ahead. We're going to sell items. And uh, I feel like, he, you know, he kind of has been hoarding it in case of emergency. But I think he would say, you know what? He's kind of he's kind of giving that up and letting that go. And saying, you know what? I'm not going to use this. It's not considered fair play. And uh, that's not who I want to be. He, he kind of had hung on to it just so he knew he had it. But uh, that's not really who he is anymore. Uh, he's starting to learn to care about others more than he ever has, and uh, I don't think he wants to be the sort of cat who would turn around and poison you just to save his own skin. I feel like he wants to wants to fight with more honor and no mo more nobility from this point on, and uh, kind of doesn't doesn't want to leave that. He kind of wants to leave that behind. So let's head up here. Oh boy. Um, and it's interesting because Mountain Domain completely ignores us at this point. They, they know who we are, and I think he would quickly, I think he would leave that alone. It looks like the, we won the battle this time, but I, I feel like he doesn't really want to, he doesn't, he doesn't want to fight them anymore. He, he doesn't want to fight anyone. He kind of, he kind of wants to, he just wants everyone to be able to get along. Oh, here's two crows. I think that's what we need for the, um... 
I think that's what we need for the Forest Guardian quest, so let's stop off at the Sacred Temple maybe on the way. He's a little ways out from it right now, but I think he would, uh, he would hurry up back. And he's starting to learn the idea of gathering berries. He doesn't really... He's eaten them a few times, and I think he's starting to learn that maybe maybe they're okay. Maybe they taste all right. Um, he's still definitely a hunter as opposed to a gatherer. <laughs> but um, he's starting to accept the value of herbs and that, you know, what? maybe they do have their use as well. Um, a toad would be good if we could catch it. Toads are worth quite a lot. Oh, we're sliding, though. And if we can... Nope, we can't catch it. Okay. Let's eat some squirrels, maybe. Where is the sacred temple? It's right over here. So let's stop over here. And I think if we come down here, we could be able to just drop off these uh, these crows here. And uh, I feel like he's a lot more at peace with himself now that he's finally made amends with Savannah and has, uh, has finally kind of made things right. And uh, has realized that she doesn't hate him. She's not mad at him. She was just a little confused and didn't realize he felt that way. <laughs> and... Uh, they can go on as friends. Their, their their friendship can continue. That's not the end of the world. And I feel like he, he's feeling a lot better. And he probably would. I, I think he confides in Coco to some extent a little bit as well. Hi, Aberon. Any new discoveries? If you find the right items, you should try placing them next to the pillars. It might bring the Forest Guardian back. Indeed, that's what we've been doing. And I feel like, I feel like he kind of has confided in Coco to some extent as well, and uh, feels a little bit more at ease with a cat who's not particularly affiliated with any one colony after all. Um, I, I feel like he has to some extent confided in Coco a little bit, and uh, has shared some of his, his fears and his hopes, and um, potentially in, in hopes of- okay, no, we're not gonna catch that rabbit. Um, and is potentially maybe starting to forge a little bit of a friendship with him as well. So, uh, I think we're gonna head up again. Yeah, we should be okay. And it's almost time for the festival as well. It is going to be, uh, the festival tomorrow. And so the next episode we have with Oberon, we'll be visiting the festival with him. And I feel like he's starting to really enjoy festivals because he, um, he really has, he, he enjoys time when the colonies can be at peace with each other and uh, not have to be fighting constantly and where they can he can spend time with robin without feeling guilty about going behind his colony's back what can i do for you Aberon? is that you Aberon? it's hard to see anything in this fog stay alert if you go near enemy territory today yeah we will uh definitely i think it actually maybe helps him though because he can well i mean he's kind of christmas colored right now but he can uh, he can sneak around a little bit more um even in the fog, it's a little easier to slip out of camp. Let's go ahead and chat with Delta as well. I'm not supposed to smell items to cats that Leo doesn't trust. Okay, so I think I, I think she just says that, but I guess that means that, uh, oh, if you're polite around here, folks will be polite back to you. I, I think that just means that she, um, that she, she's kind of saying we're trust, that he's trusted. He's, he's become a trusted member of the, or not quite member, but a trusted friend of the domain. Let's chat with Arthur a little too. Who goes there? Hearken my words, traveler. My mind is drawn to tactics and strategy. That is why Leo has made me a knight of the mountain domain. So many important questions must be answered. Where to strike and when to strike being the most prominent. So Arthur is definitely the tactician. And I feel like, uh, I feel like, Le or I feel like, uh, Auburn would kind of follow Leo here. And uh, would kind of bring him, bring him another rabbit, and is trying to prove that he really is trustworthy. And um, we'll go ahead and give Leo the rabbit, and then we'll chat as well. The mountain domain has many challenges. I don't expect you to understand, Auburn. Looks like the Winter Festival is scheduled for tomorrow at the Sacred Temple. Couldn't they have picked a less busy day? Apparently not. Well, we will see you at the festival, Leo. And I feel like Auburn would realize he needs to start heading home because it's getting pretty late. Um, but he's feeling a little more at ease now that Leo hasn't uh, just straight up said, what are you doing here? I don't really trust you. <laughs> um, but he's going to start making his way home. And uh, we'll have to see. Uh, he's been feeling very conflicted. And uh, I... Oh, darn it, we should have tried to catch that dove. Um, and he may do some more talking to Savannah about... Are you kidding me? Please tell me it's not totally gone. Please tell me it's not totally gone. <laughs> oh no. We're, we're going to have to try and catch it. Oh, oh, it's still there. It is still there. Okay. We're gonna get close as we can. I'm gonna... Try... Oh, no. And it's gone. Darn it. Oh, man. 
<laughs> oh man, you guys. Well, that's unfortunate. Some of you guys are saying that the rare prey is easier to catch, but we still don't have a very high hunting skill. We're only at 6 of 10. So, uh, I'm not surprised we lost it. Darn it, though. That kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, let's keep, uh, keep making our way down here. And, um, oh, we can maybe, nope, we can't catch that. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep going, and hopefully we should be able to make it back before it gets too late. Um, I feel like Auburn would kind of slip in in the fog, and I feel like he maybe would come and uh, talk to, uh, Savannah, because she's been kind of, he's confided in her in the past, and she's the only one who actually knows about his, uh, his traveling back and forth to the mountain domain. She knows what he's been doing. She knows that, uh, He's made friends in that colony, and she might have some advice. So we'll possibly chat with her before uh, before we head in for the night. I think we're off to the side, actually, so we gotta come this way again. Uh, but we'll, we'll make our way this way. Sunken stones, and right here is the path into camp. So let's, uh, let's chat with Savannah and um, see, what, see if she has any advice for us here. So let's see. Howdy, Auberon. It's been a while. How have things been? And let's go ahead and we'll chat. Hi, Auberon. You know, I always like chatting with you, right? Aw, so she she still she still has said that uh, she does enjoy his friendship and kind of has just reassured him of, of that because uh, he got really scared and kind of left. And I feel like he would he would kind of come back up here and kind of kind of eye this rose a little bit. And kind of kind of wonder, I mean, wonder what he's going to do with it. He's had it laying here for a while, and he certainly has turned his mind to other things, but maybe, just maybe, it would be something that would cross his mind again in the future. You never know, you guys. You never know. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.